Hello and welcome back to my channel and to another week of what's for dinner. So this week we're starting off with our Sunday brunch which has become a bit of a tradition really. So on a Sunday we tend to do streaky bacon, scrambled eggs and pancakes and then other variations. So this week we had some avocado to use up, we did some seeded toast because I love toast and lemon and lime marmalade and we also had some toaster waffles, we had fruit so we had bananas, blueberries and I think we're chopped melon. All the spreads, a little bit of squirty cream if anyone wants it, and of course some chocolate chip sprinkles to go over the top. And we tend to have this around 11 o'clock on a Sunday and it keeps us going till the evening. So next up is one of the boys' absolute favorite meals and we have made these quite a few times on this channel and that is chicken thigh smash burgers. So we get some tandoori chicken thighs and pop them in my blitzer. I will leave this chopper link down below because everybody asks about it. And we just chop them up into small chunks, not mince, so that they don't go too dry. We form them into balls and then pop them in our huge Kadak pan. This actually takes up all four hobs and you just flatten them with your spatula. Give them a few minutes each side to brown and then add a layer of Gouda cheese over the top or any cheese you like. We prefer Gouda. On the buns, I just usually do toasted brioche buns and then I put some mayonnaise and ketchup on those. We do fried onions as well, sometimes with some peppers mixed in too. And then you're just ready to assemble your burgers. It's just such a big hit in this house and tastes really, really good. It is worth the effort of chopping up the chicken thighs and cooking them this way. And it seems a lot of hassle at the time, but they taste so good. So for tonight's dinner we are trying to be a little bit healthier so we have got some very lean chicken mince that I've done with some onions, some peppers, a little bit of fajita seasoning and then I've added cauliflower rice into that. I've got some smoked paprika and some chilli and then we've topped it with some rocket and a little bit of light grated cheddar. I really small sprinkling and this is what we are having tonight. So I'm just about to put some homemade wedges in the oven for dinner tonight and I've put them in a sandwich bag which is one of the things I like to do um, to sort of marinate them a little bit and I've used this Chinese salt and chilli pepper seasoning which is the one you get from home bargains but it's gone like lumpy and all stuck together so I've kind of bashed it around a bit but I think that's got to go in the bin now. So yeah I've kind of crumbled it over them. They're going to go in the oven and then I'm going to do some chicken skewers with some seasoning, I'm not sure what, with some hummus, some flatbreads and whatever else I've got in the fridge. So I've just threaded my chicken onto some skewers and I'm not going to put any veg on so I think we might have some salad with it and I've just put some of this chicken seasoning over the top. I think I'm just going to pop these in the oven instead of turning the grill on, sometimes I do them on the grill because it gives like the nicer flavour but the oven's on so I might as well use it. So I've got these Mediterranean style pitters that I got in Aldi and um, it says they're made of extra virgin olive oil perfect for filling or dipping so I'm just going to warm these up probably in the oven as well because that's on and then we've got some hummus and I'm going to do a little bit of salad as well. So here we are plated up we've got our wedges which have come out really nice and crispy some salad with some red peppers cucumber lettuce tomato we've got our chicken skewer some flatbread and some hummus for dipping. And this is what we've got for dinner tonight. So for dinner tonight, we have gone for some salad. Um, we've got beetroot, pickled onions, tomatoes. There is some blue cheese that we had in the fridge. They're very lean chicken burgers. Um, I just did them on the griddle, so they've got the nice lines on them. And we just mixed a little bit of light mayo in as well. Just kind of a use it all up dinner, but I've put way too much cayenne pepper as I always do. So hopefully it's going to be good, but the chicken burgers look really nice. We're just starting tonight's dinner and we are having some steak and I've got some butternut squash crinkle cut chips in here. They're just the fresh ones from Sainsbury's and I'm going to pop them in my air fryer. So I sprayed them with some spray oil, covered them in smoked paprika and I'm going to put them on for about 25 minutes. And then I'm going to do like a mushroom and onion mixture to go on top of our steak and I'll show you that as I go. So I've just cooked some red onions in my pan with a little bit of a spray oil 
and then to go in there I've got some chopped mushrooms and some frozen garlic I'm also using a couple of I'm also going to use a couple of these light cheese triangles um, to make kind of like a cheesy mustard sauce and then we're going to pour that over the steak so I'm going to add my mushrooms and then pop my garlic in so I've added my mushrooms, some fresh green chilli and some garlic and I'm just going to let that soften then I've added some salt and pepper and I'm going to put in my cheese triangles and maybe a little splash of milk and some mustard powder to make like a mushroomy sauce. So I'm just going to add two cheese triangles into there. And probably about half a teaspoon of mustard powder. And I'm just going to let those melt through and if I need to I'm going to add a little bit of oat milk I think. So that, a bit more salt and pepper when I've tasted it and that will make our sauce for our steak. Our chips are still in the air fryer which you can hear and I'm just going to do the steak on the tea fell grill. I'll show you it when it has all melted through. So here is our dinner served up. The chips went to absolutely nothing, so I'm not surprised there's hardly any calories in the pack because literally that's all we got between that, the entire pack. The mushrooms, as you can see, are very, very hot, like the sauce I've made. Just added a tiny bit of water to it, but it's just mushrooms, garlic, some red onion, two cheese triangles, salt, pepper, mustard powder, and a fresh chili. Our steak's been on the grill and we've just added some lettuce and some spring onions as well so this is what we are having for our dinner tonight so for tonight's dinner we have got wrap and chips so these are spicy buffalo pretzel coated chicken breast bites and they are from sainsbury's they did come with a blue cheese sauce but we weren't keen on the look of it in the pack it was in like a clear packet so we decided to go without the blue cheese <laughs> might put a little bit of sriracha on and then i've just got some of the aldi crispy skin on fries to go with it and the boys are going to have two wraps and chips so that is what we are having for our dinner tonight so for dinner tonight i have made a turkey meatball pasta bake um i've actually just cheated i've used the muscle food turkey thigh meatballs which have gone really really nice in the oven i've used the aldi where are we this pasta bake sauce tomato and herb if we're going to focus and then I've just mixed it with some pasta popped it in the oven and topped it with loads of cheese and we're going to have this with a big salad and this is what's for dinner tonight so I'm just starting to make a soup and like for my lunches and things so in here I've got two butternut squash that I just cut in half completely raw pop them in an oven tray and then just sprinkle some garlic salt and some salt on some garlic powder and some salt on top and then I roasted them in the oven for just over an hour till they went really soft and then I've just kind of squashed them up into my pan. I'm going to air fry these red onions and peppers because I didn't put them in the oven which was a bit silly but ideally I would have roasted these but I forgot so I'm going to pop these in the air fryer and then I'm going to mix those in with the butternut I'm going to make up some stock and I'm probably going to add some garlic and chilies and maybe some smoked paprika and hopefully make enough soup for the week. So I've added my onions and peppers into my stock. Uh, I've added my onions and peppers. I've also added some chicken stock and mixed it together. I've put some chilies, some garlic powder, some smoked paprika, some black pepper and I'm just going to blitz it all up now but it's looking really good and it tastes nice. So here is my soup blitzed up. I'm probably not going to show you it in a bowl because I tend to have it in a mug. I just prefer soup that way. Um, but yeah, this tastes really, really nice and it's going to do at least four big portions and it's just packed full of veg. So nice winter warming recipe and really, really easy to do. So for tonight's dinner we have got a roast but we've got kind of a lazy roast because I've done sausages instead of a joint peas. We've got roast carrots and roast parsnips and then of course roast potatoes and some gravy. And this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you want to be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too. I 